world. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is gonna be awesome. I got this 11 inch or like a 10.2 inch touchscreen in for the FRS. Let's go ahead and get this thing opened up and check it out. So it looks like the screen tilts with this little adjuster screw here. I believe that's what it's for. You can tilt it. It's pretty cool. And this one actually has, oh, that's awesome. So let's try to get it tilted all the way down and look what we have here. We can actually put a CD in there. The one that I have in my Evo, the 10.2 inch screen I have in there, you cannot put any discs in there. So that is awesome. SD card slot, GPS card slot. Microphones right there. Screen tilts back up. This is pretty awesome. I can't wait to install it. I'm assuming I'll just be using the radio mounts out of the FRS, but both of them on here. As far as the screen goes, though, not really sure where that's going to sit. So I guess we have to wait and see. I'm guessing it's going to sit out. It'll probably, so say if my dash is right here, ends right here, the screen's going to be out in half inch or so. This thing is going to be insane inside the FRS. I cannot wait to install it. As always, guys, if you want to go pick up one of these crazy radios for yourself, I'll have a link down in the description box below. So make sure you guys go check that out. I'll see you when we get to installing this thing. So about three months ago, I picked up that radio. As you guys saw, I've already unboxed it. I'm headed down to the shop right now to see if I can get that. Let me get into the shop so you can hear me. Headed down to the shop to see if I can get that 11 inch touchscreen installed, or is it like a 10.2 inch touchscreen installed onto this car right here. So this is the radio, or this is the car the radio is going into. It's the wide body GT86 with the Rallybacker V2 wide body kit. So the radio is up here. I've already showed you guys unboxing it, but of course I put it, uh, I put it back in the box for storage. I'm really curious to see how it's going to fit in here though. I don't know if I'm going to have to cut anything out or what the deal is, but it's going to sit right there. So it's probably going to cover some stuff. It actually looks not bad at all. It might cover some vents, but that's fine with me. So I'm going to start out by figuring out how to remove the stock radio. It shouldn't be too hard. I'm guessing it's kind of like my Evo where you just pull this trim piece off here and then it unscrews. That's exactly what I'm guessing. So let's go ahead and rip out that stock radio. So I'm just pulling off this trim piece around the radio right now. It just unclips it, it looks like. Yep, just unclips like that. As soon as you get that trim piece off, just pull out those four bolts. The radio will slide out a little bit and then there's a few, like two or three wiring connectors on the backside to disconnect those. And then that stock radio will pull on out of there. As soon as you get that stock radio out, guys, we've got to pull off the mount on the side that we that bolt the radio to the car itself. So there are four screws on each side plate that we need to pull off and we're gonna throw those onto the new radio. There's only one location those can sit in. So just go ahead and screw those right onto the new radio. So that is what it should look like when you get the side mounts on the radio. Like that side, that is the one side, that is the other side. I also got the only two wiring plugins I'm gonna use plugged in. These are just the main wires. There are wires for USB connections if you wanna use those. They'll plug in right above all that right up there we are also going to be using the bluetooth little speaker microphone thing for when we get a call we can call outside the radio and also the gps antenna so make sure you guys wire those up into your car i'll show you i already ran my wires i'll show you where i ran my wires at for those very simple to do guys this is all personal preference but i ran the wires back behind the radio they come down here there's a big open spot the gps is ran to up here right up there guys so that ran under the dash took off the spindle ran under there and up to there i still have to double side tape that down so that's going to sit right up on the front of my dash and then the bluetooth is right here so that ran the same way behind the radio under the dash and then just up onto the top of the steering column and i double side double side tape that one on so that one's all good to go and those wires the gps wire threads onto that bronze wire there and then the bluetooth plugs into that there so it's all very simple stuff guys there's only one plug in that'll fit for each of those and next up we need to pull or get the screen loose off the radio so we can get the radio installed into the car 
So what we're gonna do, do you see this pin here? This one here, we're gonna grab our needle those pliers. It's not hard to do with one hand, but see how that pin pops out? Do that on both sides. And then the screen, it's not gonna come off all the way because there's obviously wires connecting it, but there's one big flat cable. So it should look like that when you get the screen detached from the radio. Now that we've got the screen disconnected from the radio itself, it is time to put it in. But first, we need it to, if you're throwing this in an FRS or BRZ, you need to pick up this antenna adapter because the adapter on the stock FRS radio is kind of weird. So I'll have this link down below as well. It's just a little $8, $9 adapter to go from the FRS antenna to a like a factory antenna that we can plug into the back of this radio. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So that is what it looks like. As you can see, that's a factory antenna or like a, a regular antenna. And that side will plug into the FRS harness. So we can use the radio finally on this thing. That just goes right into the back of the radio right there. And just like so. And now we have three wiring plugins. So we have two for like power and speaker and all that. And then this one here for the antenna. We are ready to get this radio installed into the car. So the wiring we're gonna be using out of here guys, there are these two plugins here. This one is for the GPS that we ran to up there or wherever you decided to run it. This black one here is for the Bluetooth. And then this wire right here is our antenna. So we can actually use the radio itself. If you don't wanna use Bluetooth, you can listen to the radio. So what we're gonna do guys, very simple. Just throw that radio in there, plug in those five wires, I guess it'd be, and get these four bolts in on each side. And then I'll show you what to do from there because that is kind of confusing how to get this trim piece back on. Okay, we have the radio in the car. The screen's just kind of dangling. And the reason that we left it dangling is we need to get this trim piece right here over that radio screen. So I'm gonna set the camera down, guys. You kind of just fish it over. It's really, really simple to do. So I'll show you what that looks like. So I got the trim over the screen. And now I'm just gonna come up here and put that trim piece Back where it should be so we got that far now we're gonna grab grab this little trim right here and do the same exact thing all right guys so we are that far next thing we need to do is just get the screen back onto the radio we're gonna tuck this little wire back into the screen here and then put it on the radio put get these pins in on each side and then make sure it works all right here is the moment of truth guys let's go ahead turn on the car see if we have power Watch it not turn on. Ooh, there we go. Android smart multimedia system. Don't mind it, it's all super dirty right now. It'll clean up in the future. Look how big it is though. It looks beautiful. I'll kind of run you through this radio a little bit. I do have a good idea of how they work because I have the same one in the Evo, as I mentioned before. But this here, this AE2DP, that's how you get Bluetooth sound coming through. Navigation, that's your radio. And then what else do I use on here? If you want to connect a new Bluetooth device, that's what you do, as you can see. I have my phone on there, come over here. If you want to come down here, click that button there. That is everything on the whole screen itself. So if you like have, if you're running in something else that has steering wheel controls, you can figure the steering wheel controls through that there. You can check the weather on here. If you want to download more apps, go to the Play Store, grab some more apps. Let's see here. There's a bunch of stuff you can do. This is pretty much like throwing a Android phone into your car with a big screen. I believe that would be a reverse camera. I don't have a reverse camera on here. If you want to adjust any amplifier settings or EQ settings, go in here. Let's see. You can just slide these things up and down. Custom, rock, pop. In my Evo, I think I run the, what is it? I want to say like the Jazz or something. I think it's that one there. So that sounds good. Turn the loudness off for me. It's all personal preference. Um, TPMS, you can have on here. So you can have tire pressures all right there if you want. So yeah, op the options on this thing are endless, guys. They really are. I hope I explained everything good enough to you guys to where you can get it installed yourself. I know I didn't explain it like in super good detail, but um, I feel like I did a pretty good job at it. If you have any questions, just let me know down in the comment section below. I'll be more than willing to answer them for you guys. So quick overview. This is a 10.2 inch screen. We have the GPS up there, Bluetooth here, wires are ran under there, 
we're using the two main wires <clears throat> to give the radio power and to give the speakers the sound. Anything else like the USBs and all that I'm not using because I wouldn't use them anyway. Um, what else? Overall the radio is super badass guys. As you can see it was a little bit more difficult to install than a regular two den radio because we have to like detach the screen, get the radio installed and get, then get the screen back on there. But overall very simple to install. Um, I'll have the radio down in the description box below as well as the antenna adapter so if you guys want to use the radio itself make sure you pick up the antenna adapter or else your radio is not going to work. What else? Sound. The sound sounds pretty damn good. The GPS works amazing on these newer ones. I had a 5.1 in the Evo and the GPS didn't really work at all but they fixed the issue in these new 6.0s and the 7.1s, uh, 7.1 model radio I guess it would be called. What else? Anything else to talk about with this thing? I don't really know. I've been running this Evo. I've been running this Evo. I've been running this radio in my Evo for ever, pretty much ever since I got that car. I started out with the 5.1 and I wasn't too satisfied with it. Then I got the 6.0 and it's light years better. So I'll have this exact radio I'm using right here. The one with the de detachable screen and all that in the description box. So it'll be easy for you guys to go find. And yeah, I think that pretty much is going to sum up this video, guys. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button down below. Share the video, please. I always appreciate you guys sharing the videos. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Peace out.